Hello, so this is a quick tutorial on how to download, install, and run the uh, Stardew Valley modding API uh, for Mac. Um, so first thing we're going to do is we're going to get to this page, uh, which you can get to at canimod.com. Um, and I'm going to copy and paste all these links into the uh, link into the description um, below. And um, so I essentially just did this for the first time a couple of hours ago. And um, I also was able to get a mod actually running on my Stardew Valley. So I'll, we'll also go through that together as well. And again, this video is kind of just intended for people like myself that don't have a whole lot of computer prowess. Um, and uh, yeah, I'm just trying to make it easier because it took me some time to figure this out. and. Uh, get to the right place to, to the right information and all of those things. So um, I wanted to bring it to, I guess, YouTube to help people like myself. Um, so the first thing we're gonna do is gonna get to this website. And again, I kind of ended up finding this by navigating through the stardewvalley.net uh, forums. Um, so when we land here at canimod.com, the first thing we're gonna do is go to uh, using mods for players. And obviously we're gonna go down to uh, the Mac portion, but uh, you can read through this and I advise that you do just so that you get an understanding of how all of this works. Um, so the first thing we're going to do is under installing SMAPI, I'm going to go down to the Mac section and it's pretty straightforward. Uh, we need to download the latest version of the SMAPI and we also, if you're like me and don't have this or have some way to read this coding that runs the SMAPI, you'll need to also download um, this program called Mono. Um, I actually ended up downloading the SMAPI first and then downloaded Mono and then restarted. So um, whichever method you prefer, I'm just showing you exactly how I did it. Um, so I downloaded the SMAPI first um, which brought me to this page. Um, actually, I have the tabs opened up here just for ease of use. Um, so it'll take you to this site. Um, we want the four players version of this, uh, which is the not developer one. So you'll, because I already actually have these copy and pasted to my, or just drag and dropped onto my desktop. Um, you'll select this and it will download into your downloads bar. Um, you'll need to, what I did was just drag and drop it to the desktop just for being able to find it easily. Um, so then once you have that, we'll just take a quick look at it. Essentially, what we're after is these two things. Um, the README text basically takes us back to everything that we were just looking at. Um, but uh, this is where we'll be putting mods essentially in our, this is kind of like what we're putting inside of our base Stardew Valley folder um, through Steam. Um, so the next thing we need to do, um, if you haven't already, is go ahead and download the uh, Mono uh, network framework uh, that essentially is able to read and download and install the SMAPI so that it can be used. Um, so if we go ahead and download it, um, it will drop a uh, installer uh, package. I've actually already got it on mine, so I'm going to just exit out. Um, once that's done downloading, it'll appear here. Just drag and drop it to the desktop like I did, um, and then we can open it and just go through the installation process. Once you're done with that, just restart your Mac. Okay. Once you restarted your Mac, we'll end up back kind of where we were here. Um, um, so now that we have that, those two pieces done, I'll show you essentially where we're going to be going next. So now that it's installed, they, if we go back to, um, the instructions, they kind of spell it out for us pretty clear here. Um, open a terminal, um, and start running the mono and drag and drop the install.exe to uh, run the pathway to essentially get the SMAPI running with your Stardew Valley. So 
Um, per their instructions, we'll literally we'll open up a terminal, type in mono space, and then um, go to the SMAPI folder, go to the install.exe and drag and drop it into that line. And if we did it correctly, we should kind of get this. Um, so I obviously already installed it, literally press one and then hit enter, um, and it will do like a short installation. Um, and then at the end of it, it should say, um, great, it's done. Now you can start Stardew Valley like you would normally. Um, so just so what has happened is essentially now um, if we navigate to our Stardew Valley folder, which if anyone has done any research on this, it's you can go a different way. But to me, this is the easiest way to do it. Go through Steam. Uh, get to Stardew Valley, right click and go to properties, go to local files, go to browse local files, and it'll take you straight to your Stardew Valley folder. Um, so then now, uh, what you'll have in your Stardew Valley folder is this mods folder. And as you can see, I've already kind of put in my instant fishing mod, which I'll go over here in a second. But as you can see, we have this trainer mod here, which is, you know, in my mind, just kind of like a, uh, a frame of reference. It doesn't actually do anything to my knowledge. It's just like a placeholder. Because if we go back to the SMAPI folder that we initially downloaded and left on our uh, desktop, which I don't think we actually need anymore, but I'm keeping it there just so that I know what uh, got changed with the Stardew Valley uh, folder. So we can see here the same thing, the mono, mods and then the trainer mod that's here um, so that is essentially what was implanted into our stardew valley file so going forward um, if we wanted to add a mod so just kind of starting all over um, if you find a mod that you really like and of course they if you scroll down here so using mods downloading mods there's two main places to download them nexus mods is essentially a user community that is kind of as you can see like don't they don't want you to get mods from anywhere else because people steal other people's work um, you maybe have a higher uh, chance for getting malware things like that um, you never know they talk a little bit even about um, like if you accidentally got a Trojan mod somewhere um, I think that may be on another page but um, they tell you what to do if you got something nasty um, so use Nexus mods but for this one because it was you know something simple um, I actually ended up finding something on the stardewvalley.net forum um, and this was just an instant fishing mod that uh, was recently posted um, I, it is currently February 8th and this was posted on January 12th he's uploaded three different versions of it uh, that have essentially gotten better per these people's requests, I guess. Um, so what I did was I navigated to the website. I downloaded the, uh, the mod. It dropped into my downloads. And I dragged and dropped it to the desktop, uh, which is here. So then you'll essentially get these three files in every mod that you download. Um, obviously, there are ones that kind of add a, a whole like cheat menu. I think there's like a CBJ or CJB cheat menu that can you can put in. But essentially, following the same steps, open Steam, get to our uh, Stardew Valley folder. And so navigate to the mods folder and literally drag and drop this into this folder. And that's it. And then uh, start up your Stardew Valley like you normally would and because I've already done this and tested it, it works um, yeah um, that's pretty much it unfortunately because I don't have a whole lot of know-how on stuff like this um, I, but I am doing some research um, if you have any questions comments concerns certainly navigate back to the forum and ask people there for any help uh, I tried to make it as easy as possible, and I literally just retraced the same steps that I did to make this work. Um, 
but yeah, I hope this helps, um, and uh, good luck, and happy gaming.